Disgraced Olympic Committee Chair Yoshiro Mori had allegedly been pressuring employees to get Hideki Matsui to light the cauldron in the opening ceremony rather than 23-year-old Osaka. Naomi Osaka was reportedly not the original choice to light the Olympic flame to mark the official opening of the Tokyo Games. Sources say the former committee chairman wanted former Yankee Hideki Matsui to light the cauldron as he is pure Japanese. It was only after Yoshiro Mori was forced to resign as the chairman that the committee approached the tennis star to do the honors. The 23-year-old carried the torch towards the cauldron and lit the Olympic flame at the end of the opening ceremony to mark the start of Tokyo 2020. However, sources now say former Olympic committee chairman was pressuring colleagues to get the former Yankees player, known as Godzilla, to light the torch. An anonymous employee for the committee told the Daily Beast. Mori wanted Godzilla to light the Olympic flame at the end, not Naomi Osaka. Former Prime Minister Mori also allegedly told committee members that Matsui is, a pure Japanese man and a baseball champion in the United States and Japan, the embodiment of, a, fighting spirit. The former committee chairman was forced to resign in disgrace back in February, just months before the Games began. He stepped down from the role after making offensive comments claiming women talked too much to serve on the Japanese Olympic Committee while addressing efforts to increase the female representation within the group. At the time, the New York Times reported that he expressed concern that meetings would go on too long because female members would try to outdo one another on speaking the longest. Addressing the board's goal to increase the number of female members by 40%, Mori was quoted as saying, If we increase the number of female board members, we have to make sure their speaking time is restricted somewhat. They have difficulty finishing, which is annoying. The 84-year-old apologized for the offensive remarks the following day but many called on him to resign. The International Olympic Committee originally said the matter was closed after Mori apologized but later backtracked and called the comments absolutely inappropriate. The following Friday, he addressed the media to confirm he was stepping down, saying, Just when we were preparing to definitely hold the games, I, as president, said something I shouldn't have said. I didn't mean it in that way, although it was said to be discrimination against women. I have been praising women, promoting them to speak out more.